person watching this video, I have insane, never before heard news. People cheat in video games. <laughs> sure, you may have to spend hours of your time grinding and grinding and learning game mechanics so you can beat some brain aneurysm inducing boss or so you can get good. But me, no, I'm not, I'm not mid. I'm not mid like you. I'm actually, I'm actually built rather differently. Why should I learn game mechanics when I could just go onto some no sign up, no credit card, no bullshit, here's how to get a bigger gentleman sausage website and download a program that could do all the work work for me. I, I'm just, I'm just smarter than you. I'm, I, I'm just better than you. All right, look here, all funny jokes and memes aside for one moment, as we all know, cheating and hacking has infested every single corner of the video game industry, especially in more competitive games. The higher the skill gap, the more hackers you're going to find. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Look at games like CSGO, Minecraft, <laughs> Call of Duty, and this Call of Duty, this is where the topic of today's video comes into the picture. Allow me to introduce to you, person watching this video, the Call of Duty streamer known as Nadia. Allegedly, Call of Duty's biggest cheater. Hey, by the way, you better subscribe to the big YouTube channel so I can complete the million subscribers speed run. And while you're at it, be sure to leave a like on this video and follow me on the cesspool known, the cesspool known as Twitter. Now, if you, yeah, if you don't spend hours and hours and hours of your time scrolling through TikTok, if you want terminally online, just like me, you may be wondering to yourself, okay, what... What in the name of all that's holy? What is a Nadia? Nadia is a YouTuber and Twitch streamer who has recently become a certified niche internet micro celebrity. She's also the, the best the best Warzone player ac <laughs> according to herself. This clip right here proves why I am the best female Warzone player. Of all the things to call yourself in life, why? Why, 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 why would you, why would you, why would you want to call yourself the, the best Warzone player? I don't really think it takes a genius to realize this yet, but calling yourself the best, the best at anything really on this collector obsessful we all spend too much time on, it's not, it's not really going to make you any friends. It's not really going to make you any friends now, is it? Have you seen the majority of people on the internet? People on the internet are miserable. Of course, since you're calling yourself the best Warzone player, yeah. You're gonna activate the Reddit detectives. They're, they're gonna be out for blood. Are you a madman? Yeah, as we all know, competitive players in video games are always under scrutiny when it comes to things like hacking or cheating, all of that type of stuff. Some people will genuinely, yeah, no word of a lie, some people will genuinely analyze each individual pixel to try to prove that you aren't legit at what you're doing. That's what we that fucking do! do! It's that one. That pixel means he's hacking. Nadia, she's currently under one of the one of the most mental cheating investigations. I think. I've ever seen on the internet in my 21 years of being on this earth. Nadia exposed in leaked video. Activision now confirmed streamers are cheating. What? What? I, I, I need to watch this video. Right. So this is the this the intro of the video. <laughs> What is this? And I'll tell you one thing. Lots of the stuff she does in Warzone. Lots of it. It looks really bloody impressive. W. But it's almost it's it's almost too too impressive. If anything, it's 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 a little bit sus. I don't support. Oh my god. Enemy soldier. Unlucky. We're all in the safe zone. What? Maybe we're all getting a bit too far ahead of ourselves. So what, what is the actual evidence behind the Nadia cheating scandal? What's the main piece of evidence in the first place? Firstly, people think that Nadia looking at another monitor while she's playing is an indication that she has something like a cheat engine installed, which would mean she would have wall hacks, all of that type of stuff. Some people say that she's playing in bot lobbies or using VPN so she can boost her KD. She is proud of herself and claimed a female world record. However, could only manage this, in a bot lobby of 0.67. Yet, the second best player in the game, had twice as many deaths than kills. When taking a quick look at her main account, I quickly realized this self-proclaimed, best ever female Warzone player refuses to compete in positive KD lobbies. I did find yet another Activision ID that showed equally suspicious statistics. 
There seem to be endless bot lobbies while playing on both of these accounts and clear evidence of VPN boosting. All of that though, yeah, I'm taking all of that and I'm going to move it to one side because while I was doing my own digging into the Nadia cheating scandal, I think all of this evidence pales in comparison to what happened at the recent Modern Warfare 2 event. Or should I say, what, what didn't happen? Hey, yeah, map, dude. Please. the package. Kill the enemy. Get Yo, how's like the volume and everything? Chat like let me know if anything you chat. Wait, now, wait. This guy's okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're just like Haley. She'll literally come. She'll wake up, come in my chat just to tell me, bro, your thing, your thing's not uh, perfectly in place. Ow. Where did the skill go? Oh, honestly, this, I mean, this is just so bloody weird. Nadi is shooting a teammate. She's not winning very cool, very big hardcore 1v1s. Come on, if you're, if you're this Warzone god, yeah, if Captain Price himself kneels before the might of Nadia, surely, surely you would perform a little bit better? You wouldn't be shooting at your own teammates? It is a little bit suspicious that Nadia, that she's, that she's so dog shit when she's playing against other players who are really good at a different setup. Is all of this concrete proof that Nadia is cheating or hacking in Call of Duty though? No, no, no it's not. But I'll be honest, I, I won't be a tad bit surprised if it is revealed, if it is exposed that Nadia is cheating or hacking in Call of Duty. Massive streamers getting exposed for cheating or hacking in a video game? What? what? Now, no joke, no meme, no video game reference here. Me, every now and then, I do like to turn on Call of Duty and play a little bit of multiplayer. I've been playing Call of Duty for years. Now, I, I am quite shit at multiplayer player, but why would I spend hours playing multiplayer when I could just play the superior mode known as zombies instead? However, even if I was some Call of Duty demon, if I truly was the Giga Gamer, I, I would hate I would absolutely hate to be a professional player. Imagine for a second, yeah, this this hobby of yours, this thing you used to casually play on the weekends for a bit of fun, it, it now it now becomes your job, and you have to constantly perform at the highest level if you want to if you want to get anywhere really. You always have to play like play like a god because if you don't, well. Good luck in your future, mate. You're, you're gonna get dropped from your org. I heard McDonald's is hiring. Since all of these people have to constantly perform at the highest level, I do understand the logic behind installing cheats and hacks to get a competitive edge over everybody else. It's almost like performance enhancing no no YouTube word, but instead of it being tablets and powder, it it's G it's G fuel and PNG images. The better you play, the more eyes there are on you, which means more views, which means more money, which means more opportunities, which means it means a better future at the end of the day. And with all of that being said, me, I'm gonna go on some sketchy website and download hacks so I can absolutely demolish people in Call of Duty casual matches. Thanks for watching, go watch all of my other stuff, and I'll see you soon. Number 15. Subscribe to The Beak. If you don't, you will suffer a severe case of cringe, and you are taking part in bozo behavior. Thanks for watching.